Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a birthday list management system in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this dynamic birthday list management system. You can easily get the list of employees if birthday is in next 90 days or you can change this let's say next 30 days or next 60 days. You can further filter it by location. So let's say I'm selecting Gurgaon, I'm getting only one or let's say I'm selecting Mumbai, I'm getting these. And if you select the department, let's say sales, then we can see we have two and the birthday is on 24th March. If I select, let's say quality, birthday is in 30th March and 15th March. Okay. So this is totally dynamic and we haven't used any kind of VBA here. We just have used the Excel formulas. Now I will show you the employee master data here we have the employee ID, employee name and we have supervisor name, date of birth of the employees. Then we have here location and the department and this is a table name as employee underscore master. Now let's copy this table and press control N. We have book one here. Let's paste that here. Okay, so this is the table here. You can see again the name is employee underscore master. We can rename this sheet also. Let's keep here employee master. Okay, and go to the view and remove the grid lines from here. Let's add a new sheet and we can say birthday list. All right. Now let's go back to the previous seat here in the birthday list and let's copy this and we will use the same header okay paste from row number six and increase the column width slightly for the first row we can make the header so just go to the merge and center align this center center and increase the font size slightly take the white font background take some dark color let's say i'm taking this dark blue color all right, here you can put your title. So we can say dynamic birthday list. Okay, let's go to the view and remove the grid lines from here. Here we can create few boxes like birthday in next and days. So we can input here days and then we can put here location. Then we can put here department and here we can put birthday count. All right, and let's change the color so we can take this light color let's say i'm taking this one or you can choose any other color let's say this green one uh, take the same theme color make this white font bold select this range press ctrl button border take this thick border and take the same theme color outline inside click on ok select this range double click on the format painter click click and click we have applied the same formatting align this text as center center all right you can change the color for each box but for now i'm just keeping it as it is so let's say here i'm putting 30 for now so this is my criteria days make this bold and bigger and we will create few names here so let's select this range go to the formulas click on name manager new and let's say here i'm saying criteria days and whatever is in the days let's multiply it minus one so we need the negative 30 okay click on okay close this is the location first we will get the list of locations so let's go to the employee master somewhere here we will create a list of unique location and unique department so we can use the unique function and we can select the locations in the employee master table so let's Type here employee master square bracket and we need the locations. Close the square bracket, close the bracket. We are getting the unique location. Okay. But we need one all also in the starting. Okay. It should start with all then the name. So what we can do, we can use here B stack function and we can type all comma then the unique location and just close the bracket hit the enter we can see the all here then the location copy the same formula i paste here and we can change the location with the department okay just hit the enter 
so here we have the department let's come to the birthday list and click on this c4 location press alt dl to create a data validation list select here list and come to the employee master and just click on j1 put has click on ok so we have all location and this is dynamic okay if i come to the employee master and i change a location name as delhi then you can see in the list delhi is appearing automatically all right okay now let's align this properly go to the home align center center make this bold similarly we will create the list here so press all dl and list and go to the employee master select this k1 put as all right so we are getting the list dynamically select here all here also all so this is our selected location so we can rename this as selected location okay this is selected location and this is selected department and just enter so this is selected department all right now first of all we will get the difference of days so let's put the formula here today minus the birthday in the current year okay and how we can get it we can use the date function and first we need the year so we need the current year so use the year of today just close this comma month use the month function and we need the month of employee date of birth so i can type here employee master square bracket dov date of birth close this and close this bracket comma day use the day function and again employee master dov close the square bracket close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here difference of days so let's copy this formula and then again go to the formulas name manager new name and this is our days difference days underscore okay let's paste that formula here click on okay and just close this now if i type here days underscore difference i will get the same list all right so we will use this list in the filter function so let's use the filter function here filter and we will filter the employee master table okay so now we will put two conditions use the start bracket and we will use days difference is less than or equal to criteria days criteria days is the negative value of this value which is 30 here so that should be negative 30 so we have already created a name as criteria days this one close the bracket put asterisk sign for the another condition and that should be days difference should be less than or equal to zero okay it should not be greater than zero and just close the break and hit the enter so we are getting here the list of employees whose birthdays are in next 30 days now select this whole range then go to the home align this center reduce the font size all right now we want to see here birthday also because birthday date of birth is 24th march 82 so we will show here only 24th march okay so how we can do that first of all copy and press alt m and n to create a new name and we will use here filter data and paste that formula here click on ok so we are getting the filtered data here now we will sort this data first the first birthday should come on the top we cannot sort directly with this we have to use some trick here we will sort it by a new column okay so let's use here sort by and array we will use the filter data this one comma by which we want to sort it so we will create a new column as the birthday date in the current year so we will use here date function and year we will take the current year so we will use the year of today let's close the bracket comma then we will use the month of 
filter data column so we will use the month of and the column name we will use the choose call function so we know it is fourth column right so from the filter data we will take the fourth column all right and from there we will get the month comma similarly we will get the day also so copy this and paste here as we will get the day this one and just close the bracket just close one bracket here and here also just hit the enter all right so if you see we are getting the sorted data first we have the 9th march then 24th march 24th march all right so we can copy this and we can create another name as this is sorted filtered data paste that formula here click on okay now we will fill this column also to fill this column use the h stack function so let's use here h stack function with sorted filter data this one and we will add a new column to add the new column what we can do we can use a text function with the column name so i'll use here choose calls of sorted filter data and that is fourth column which is dov right and we will use the format as you can use ddd if you want to show the day also or you can use only dd space mmm and just close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting here the birthday date also all right so we can say this is all final birthday list but it is not filtering by the department and location all right so let's copy this and create a new name press alt m n n new and put here this is all birthday list paste that okay okay all right so let's delete this now we will get the location filtered list first we will check here we have all or we have selected any location so i will put here if function if this value which is selected location right is equal to all then we will show here all birthday list else we will use the filter function with all birthday list and we will filter the location column okay to get the location column we can use the choose call function of the all birthday list and we will take the fifth column is the location column and we can say this column it should be equal to the selected location okay just close the bracket and hit the enter so if i select here let's say hyderabad i will get only one okay so this is the location filter but if i select any department it won't filter because this is not connected so let us copy this formula first and we can say this is location fit filtered birthday list Let's create a new name so this is location filter birthday list and paste that here click on okay and close this now we can put another formula like if this cell is equal to all then we will take the location filtered birthday list else we will use filter function filter let's filter the location filter birthday list with choose call again use the same formula choose calls of the location filter birthday list and this time we will take column number 6 on f which is department 6 is equal to selected department okay close the bracket and hit the enter now let us change this filter as all then still nothing is coming and put here 90 then we can see few values are coming okay we can use here if error function also if error and we can put here blank close the bracket so this is our final function so let's copy this and create a name alt m n n and we can say final birthday list and paste that formula here click on okay all right and you can type here final birthday list all right now we want to get the birthday count here if i select here all then we can see more now here we can use the formula count a to get the count of list and we can use the final birthday list so it will give the count of all columns so we have to choose the column let's say we can take the first column so i can use here choose calls function of this and let's say put here one and close the bracket we are getting here three if i put here let's say 60 then we can see we have 
10 if I select any department let's say HR you can see only one so this is working we can create the name of this also copy the formula and let's create a new name and we can put here as a word account and paste that here close we can simply use equal to birthday account so we are getting this all right friends so friends that is how you can create the dynamic birthday list in microsoft excel using the filter and other functions friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching